Hey, 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 everyone. It's Rod Bergeron here with you. And today I'm in downtown Port Hope, and I am right near where the salmon are running. It's mid-September, and the salmon run up the Ganaraska River through downtown Port Hope. And uh, I've been here a couple of times in the last week. There are dozens and dozens of people fishing for the salmon. Um, I've seen a couple of people keep them. I've seen a couple of people catch and release. So it's a, kind of a pretty neat place. So I'm, I'm looking down the river here at, um, there's a large restaurant on the corner and there's another large um, uh, office building on the right hand side of the river here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide my page up here into thirds, just like I always do top third, bottom third, right third, left third, just so that I can start to understand, you know, where each piece of architecture is going to go. I'm going to start by putting all of my main lines on the page. So I'm looking at the far building and I'm thinking about where the main side of the building is. I'm thinking about where the other main lines are and how they're going to connect together. I'm not worried about getting these lines um, the proper length right now. I can certainly come back and um, augment those. But let's talk about field studies for a minute. So field studies are really a great way for you to investigate the architecture or the landscape or whatever it might be that you're working on. But investigate it in a very visual way to try to figure out what is it about this that interests you? Or is there something on here that is really catching your eye that you really want to spend some more time on. So field studies are not, they are not a completed piece of plein air painting or drawing. These are really just a way for you to investigate the landscape around you, look at the things that you're interested in, and then just sort of capture those visually and, and see, you know, what is it that, um, I think, I think all too often people forget about the idea that it's the things that aren't interesting to you that are probably just as important as the things that are interesting to you. So I try to think about what lines on here are very, very difficult and are those lines too difficult to capture um, either with pen or with pen and watercolor or whatever may have you. Are, are they too difficult to capture and you're just going to plain get it wrong and it's going to look like you get it wrong no matter what you do. So um, I do quite a bit of investigating like this. I do quite a bit of, you know, just on site, just trying to get it down on the page as quick as I can. It's not, um, it's going to be a reference for me when I go back to my studio and I try to work on this because uh, not so much is it going to be a visual reference, but it's going to be a reference about what it is that I found difficult or what it was that I thought was going to be um, a very, very complex thing to try to draw on a page. And you'll see stuff like this railing that I just did here. I mean, it's, you know, it's simple. It's easy. The, the little bottom of the um, where, where the river is, that stuff's all easy. Where this bridge is that I'm putting in on the far left hand side, it's pretty easy. The, the darkness in the windows is easy, but there's lots of things on here that I find difficult, like that first little area, this area right here where these chimneys are. It's super complex. I mean, there's so many things going on in that particular area that you would really have to spend some time, take a lot of photographs, come back. You might have to revisit a couple of times to get stuff right. I know myself, one of the things, I guess some of the things that I'm not interested in is I'm not interested in drawing and painting people. I'm not interested in getting them on the page at all. If I was, I would be trying to draw the guys fishing down in the in where the river is, but that's not what I'm concentrating on. I like this architecture. I like looking at the architecture and trying to figure out the angles. I'm not really interested in drawing people. It's not my thing. It never has been. I'm not really, um, I'm not a portrait artist by any stretch of the imagination, um, but I do like, figuring out mathematical angles. And that's why I like the, looking at these, um, these pieces of architecture and how they relate to each other. So in with any kind of a um, study like this, you need to figure out the things that are difficult for you 
and then go and do some more sketching of the things that are difficult do take more photos of the things that you find difficult and really just get um, a good feeling for the area that you're working in so I really love to hear from everyone I, I really I really want to know if you've ever done any field studies if you work in plein air if you do I'd love to hear from you leave me um, leave me some information in the uh, in the comment section I'd love to hear what it is that you like to draw or what it is that you don't like to draw when you work in plein air and if you have a question or a comment uh, you know perhaps there's something that you would like to like to see me work on maybe there's something that you find really difficult and you just want a you know you want a second opinion about how to get this particular thing on the page I, I'd love to be able to hear from you and I'd love to be able to help you if I could so um, if you're currently a subscriber I really do I thank you very much for subscribing to my channel and to uh, helping my little channel grow here uh, if you're not currently a subscriber please consider subscribing to my channel I really I really do appreciate each and every one of you I thank you a lot for uh, coming out and checking me out and um, if you got a question or a comment please leave it in the comment section thanks a lot for watching and uh, we'll see you again next time